key that's wrong. That's why we're up here to fix it. Okay, okay. Now get a good grip on that hour hand and shove it back two numbers. Got it? Got it. I said shove it. It's heavy. Hold it, I'll give you a little help. I'll see if I can loosen up these gears a bit. Great, Shorty. You hit it right on the nose. Yeah, my nose. There must be an easier way. Okay, now take that minute hand and push it all the way down and make it 130. <coughs> this minute hand is heavy, Swifty. Everything's heavy to this guy. Need any help, Shorty? No, Swifty. I'd rather do it myself. Okay, just brace your foot on that little trap door behind you and push. What's that? What happened? My foot's caught in a spring. Gotta watch those springs, Shorty. They got a lot of dough. Get out of there at once. Hey, I told you to watch that spring. Shorty! Shorty! Where are you now? Trapped between the two ones and eleven. You ought to go for the astronaut bit, Shorty. I can't stand heights. Might as well wind the clock while you're up there. I'll see if I can reach the winder. Let me set this minute hand here, and I'll come up there and help you. Whoops! Look out, Shorty! Yahoo! I told you to watch it, Shorty. Where are you? Inside the loop at the bottom of the six. Well, stay there. I really got no place to go. Now, can you reach the minute hand and pull it down? Maybe. Can you reach the winder and give it a couple of times? Just about. Okay, you wind and I'll pull. Take in. 85 cents. Whoa, what a cheap crowd. Tie it in a handkerchief and throw it up here. Yeah. Don't I get anything? Does the organ grinder pay the monkey? Once in a while, he gives him a banana. You're lucky you got your handkerchief back. Well, clock's all set at 1.30. I'll toss this rope down. Tie it to the loop at the bottom of the six and I'll slide down. Okay. Now pull it tight. That's tight enough? No, keep pulling. What's that noise? Is something giving? No, everything's fine. Keep pulling. What's that noise? It's nothing. <laughs> it was really nothing, Swifty. Just the six. It broke loose. Some joke. Very funny. Very funny. There you are, that's it, 1.30. Okay, job's done. Swifty. What's the matter now? I think we made a terrible mistake. What do you mean? By the time we got the clock set, 15 minutes passed by. So? So now our clock is 15 minutes slow. Look at the clock on City Hall, it's a quarter to two. That's the key clock. All the clocks in the city go by that one. So? So there's only one thing to do. What's that? We'll push that clock back to 1.30. Shorty, you're a genius. Come on now. Just a little more. There. One thirty. Swifty. What now? I just thought of something. Shorty, don't overwork those brains of yours. Supposing everybody in the city finds out they wait 15 minutes overtime, they'll kill us. Shorty, you're a warrior. You're a genius, but you're a warrior. So? So let's get out of here, quick. Right. Watch that spring. Uh-oh. <laughs> to watch that spring, Shorty. Hey, Swifty. Yeah? You got a dime? Why? I want to play that record again. I like it. Let me get my hands on you, Shorty. You'll be the phonograph needle. <laughs> Swifty and Shorty, two of my favourite cartoon characters. Now, I happen to be right now in the editing room, film editing room, and I'm holding in my hand Dr. Finlay, would you believe? Episode 5, Part 1. There's a one-off for you. 
actually, I think it's a good chance. I was going to do some modelling balloons for you here right now. <laughs> Try and model something. <laughs> oh! So, uh, I think I'll leave it to the other fella. He's much better than I am. Here are just some of my uh, balloon friends with me here. You'll notice Rusty's not with me today. Well, the reason is, of course, that he's a dog. And it's very likely to be frightened if one goes off with a bang, these balloons, I mean. So if you have a pet with you at the moment watching this one, I'll try and not burst this one, all right? I'll do it as quickly as I can. <laughs> there we are, there. We need a little pair of ears to go on. And then we have made it. I wonder if you can guess what it is, can you? <laughs> there we are. A giraffe. Oh, you caught me. <laughs> Actually, the idea of our outside cavalcades was to show you all the different places that you could go and visit. Now, my Aunt Maggie had never actually been to Blackpool, so I went there and I sent her a postcard from Blackpool on film. Up to now, I'd only seen the tower from a distance. Now was the time to explore it from the inside. could resist looking in a mirror and in the tower I found some that shows you as you're not if you see what I mean <laughs> I'm having a wonderful time, and last night I saw what I came for, the Blackpool Illuminations. Boy, are they really something. I started here at the North Pier.